boys and girls. Today we're going to read a book called It's Your Turn Now. It's a story about politeness. This book was written by Cindy Leaney and it was illustrated by Peter Wilkes. So Cindy wrote all the words and came up with the idea. And Peter Wilkes is the illustrator. He drew the pictures. It's your turn now. Hi, I'm Michaela. I'm Emily. Hi, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Jose. Welcome to the Hero Club. Read all about the things that happen to them. Try and guess what they'll do next. Hurry up. We're going to miss the bus. Come on, Jose. Run. Hey, Matt. Watch it. You just bumped into her. Sorry. Excuse me. I wasn't watching where I was going. Those are nice words to use. If you bump into somebody, you should say, I'm sorry and excuse me and let them know that it was an accident. Quick, Emily, grab that seat. Matt, think about what you're doing. Should you rush to get the last seat so nobody else can sit down but you can? Is that a polite thing to do? No. Whoops, sorry, would you like to sit down? Those bags look heavy. And he lets her sit down. Thank you, they are heavy. So that's being considerate, thinking about other people's needs before your own. Look, there's an ad for the movie. Watch it, sorry. It's not polite to put your arms or your hands in people's faces or in their personal space. This is our stop, Michaela. We've got to get off here. Don't push, Matt. The driver will wait for us. Sorry. So sometimes we have to slow down and not be in such a hurry because we don't want to push. What time is it? It's 12.30. We're early. See, they had plenty of time. Hey, get in line. Make me. Oh, somebody jumped in line and got in front of them. And he's starting an argument over it. And she says, let it go, Matt. Because sometimes we have to think about, is it really that important? If somebody gets in front of us in line, if we don't have to have a line order, then it's not really important if somebody got in front of us. It's not the end of the world. Sometimes we have to learn to let it go but he pushed right in front of me. It doesn't matter. There are going to be plenty of tickets. And it's not like they're at school on their way to PE or to lunch. They don't have to be in line order. Where should we sit? Well, there are four seats together. Hey, I was gonna sit there. Tough. Oh, well, that's not very nice, is it? It's not gonna make anybody feel better. This man says, do you guys want to sit together? We could move over one. So he offers to have his daughter and his wife move all the way over to make one more seat so that these four children can sit next to each other. What should they say? Thank you. And they did, they said, thanks, that's really nice. This man was thinking about how those kids felt and what would be a nice thing to do for them, how he could help that situation. Wow, I can't believe that other kid. No manners. Ha, you should talk. Well, I guess I was pretty bad on the way here. Sorry, I didn't have to be in such a hurry. I should have been more polite. So on the way there on the bus, he had waved his hands around in somebody else's personal space, and that wasn't very polite. And he tried to rush to get the last seat before somebody told him, one of his friends said, you don't have to be in such a rush. Let's let that lady sit down with her heavy bags. And not to push when getting off, because the bus driver was going to wait for them. There was plenty of time. 
Letting somebody go in front of you and have their turn first. Sometimes that's the polite thing to do. If everybody could be polite to each other and be compassionate and considerate to each other, the whole world would be better. Thank you for reading this book with me today. It's a story about being polite and having good manners. They're very important. Plus, they help us make friends because everybody likes to be friends with somebody that has good manners. <laughs>